Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video, we are going to be going over the import rule in SAS. Now, CSS already has an import rule, but SAS extends it a little bit by actually uh, compiling the included file or the imported file into the file that is doing the importing, if that makes sense. Otherwise, I'll just show you. So, First off, I want to move these styles into a separate file because um, uh, some, some other CSS files are going to be using them when it's not this file particularly. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it base.scss and I'm going to paste those styles into this file. Okay, now save that and come over here. Now these styles are no longer included in the style.scss file, so I have to do this at import rule and we'll say import base. And you don't have to include the .scss extension because SAS is smart, so it understands that. And now this file looks the exact same as it did before, and it still works. It's just um, separation of logic, you could say, although it's not logic per se, it's CSS styles, but a similar concept. But the thing is, this base style sheet is never going to be used all by itself in the hypothetical situation. So I don't need this to be compiled into a separate base.css file all on its own. SAS already has this figured out for us, so I can just rename this file to include an underscore at the beginning. And now it's not going to be compiled into base.css anymore because it has an underscore at the beginning of its name. And the underscore tells SAS that this particular file is a partial file, meaning don't compile it into its own file. It's only going to be included in other files like style.scss. And we don't have to add the underscore here because, well, SAS understands that it's a partial file that's only going to be included in other files. And as you can see, it still works perfectly well. Now, the interesting thing about this is that um, now we have these variable definitions here. And if we change these variable definitions, it'll change the value of the variable wherever this file is included and these variables are used. So we have some fun color mixing going on to get this greenish color here um, between these two colors, I believe. So say I change this to um, a, a more intense red, or would that be, yeah, that's, that's still a reddish color. Now we get an orange instead. Um, and we change it back, and there we go, back to normal. This can make it really easy to just define a set of variables in a file, and then whenever you need to change a value, you don't have to go searching through your hordes of SAS files to figure out where exactly did you define this variable. It makes it really easy to find them and change them, and it's just a lot a, a cleaner workflow that then you're still compiling into one CSS file that works perfectly fine. All right, everybody, there you go. There's your really quick intro tutorial to the import directive in SAS and partial files while we're at it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. My name is Jacob. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. And have a good one. Bye.